New season, new car, and we're in beautiful Long Beach, and this is the Rockstar Energy Drink Nexen Tire Toyota Corolla IM. At the end of 2016, we decided as a team to completely tear down the car and just start off with a blank slate, apply every know-how, uh, aiming to win the championship. So this is the world's first hatchback drift car. And you know, with Scion now becoming a part of Toyota, we wanted to build a new car and we wanted to build something truly special. Nexen took it to the next level by making the SUR4Gs. And this is our first event on the new tires. They're amazing, tons of grip. This is definitely what we need to keep gunning for this championship. important things about the sport of drifting is growth and the fact that Nexon has decided to grow the team has been extremely positive bringing on Cameron Moore on board, uh, Kyle Mohan, Brad Dan, really excited to see what they can do for us. Being the two youngest drivers decided to team up so uh, now we're with Kaufman Racing uh, he's got the S13 Rocket Bunny awesome driver he's been in FD as long as I have we both came in at the same year I think it's a lot to expect to come out with a new car and be slain from the start, but you know, that's our goal. We want to come out, we want to be competitive right out of the box. It's going to take some time to adjust to the new car, but we have a lot of confidence in our experience now, as well as our partner's ability to make what we need. I think this will be a great year for us. Here we are, round two of Formula Drift 2017, and it's not Atlanta. What we're used to is going straight to Atlanta from Long Beach, but this year, they switched round two and three from uh, Orlando to Atlanta. in my hometown, so I'm glad to be here. It is hot, it's, it's humid, but the track's good, the temp's good, everything's been going well this year, you know? The Infura Sur 4 Gs are doing great on track. The grip here is insane. We're getting many runs out of the tires and it's just gonna be a fun event. The guys at Puppet Ox Racing have been hard at work trying to improve the Corolla from its first outing made the car a little easier to drive, more power, more spare parts, because we know this weekend it's gonna be crazy. I feel pretty good behind the wheel. Now it's a matter of dialing it all in, putting on some sick battles, and trying to take it all home. I'm very hot. It does affect you, but I don't like to be in the race car too long with all my gear on, so if there's any chance during practice or in between competitions, I'll jump out, take my helmet off, cool down.
Orlando Speed World is actually uh, one of my favorites, and uh, that's because we're pretty much standing on throttle the whole time. We're normally about third gear is on entry. We're at that bank the whole time where you're all the way matted to the floor. Come off into a really harsh transition onto the inner bank, flat footed all the way around. You're on the gas almost all the way through. It has a hard bump coming down from the bank, another hard bump coming into turn two, and it's fierce battles all day long. We're sitting in fifth place right now, but we're definitely pushing for a podium out here. Welcome to Atlanta, the home of Formula Drift, where it all started and we always have a seriously good time. If you're here in the rowdy VIP area, Worldwide Party Headquarters, have a seriously good time watching my buddy Fred Chagosvo. Love you, buddy. This is our 10 year anniversary as Team Rowdy. You know, a little bit of rain delay right now, a little bit of lightning in the air, but that's not going to stop us. The horsepower, the smoke, the sounds, I can't be more excited. We're out here partying until the party actually starts. It's pre-party. And right now we're taking a break from reality. We've been here for nine years in the same 13. spot. This is my spot, so I got bike chains from Walmart and chained my chairs to the fence. You have the Southern Hospitality, you have the pickup trucks, they're backing into the track. They sit there, pound beers, shoot shotguns off the back of their trucks. The place is awesome. So, new car, different, but looks awesome. And uh, dude, these tires must be freaking awesome because you're a rocket ship up that track, man. It's been a cool project. We, we took on this here Corolla and we didn't really know what to expect, but turned out it's a championship contender. Now we're in Atlanta, one of my favorite tracks. Partly yeah. to Team Rowdy. Yeah! Uh, we'll see if we can do it this time. <laughs> Me and a couple of friends are local drifters around here. We do the local events and whatnot. I just picked up a set of Nexons for my 240. I really like them. I would recommend them to people. They go where I tell it to and the car follows. So, I mean, it's been pretty good. All right, top 32 here at Formula Drift. Check it out. Can't wait for top 16 tonight. Oh, it sounds so good. We're gonna be here partying the whole time. There's Brooks Church. Check it off. Competition is really fun because you know you do put a lot of hard work into it, but there's those moments where you have a win. And that's what we're all striving for, as many wins as possible. And that's the competition drive that we all have that keeps us coming back each weekend. It's a 
never-ending battle, but at the same time, we know that all the hard work, when it pays off, it's a great feeling, and that's what we're working hard. You know, we can't give up. We feel burnt out a lot of the times. You know, all that's worth it once everything kind of comes together. When the car is in the pit, Ben and Takeshi actually work on the car. They prep the car, set up the suspension, uh, alignment, engine. When it comes down to it, everybody kind of gets in there, and even myself, and uh, we learn over the years, there's always something that comes up. We'll get in there to you know, make sure that Ken is ready to go. in charge of Dan's team, getting the car 100% ready before he goes out on track, make sure it's fueled up, and basically get his mindset just calm. So I want him to always rely on me to make sure the car is 100%. I spot for Frederick, tune the engine, pay for everything with the credit card, just help manage things and make sure everything's set up in the trailer and, and we're ready to go for each one of the events. So spotter's important because there's what the judges want and there's what the driver's doing on the track. And it's important to understand what the judges want and articulate that to the driver so the driver can get the best scores in qualifying and then beat the guys in tandem. We all passionate about what we do. We love what we do. We get the opportunity working with great sponsors like Toyota Racing and Nexon Tires. So, you know, we'll continue and try to get on that podium. Having a podium or winning is an amazing feeling of accomplishment where your hard work is rewarded in some way. It's like a, a pat on the back from the whole industry basically saying good job and that's uh, really the good feeling. our only international round, and what a cool place this is. We are instantly met with drift fans, not only from here, but from across the world. Today practice is the main day actually to just set up the car, get in the zone. I think we can do a lot better to get me in the zone that we work. Like, good to go, be ready. We wrapped up the last round of Formula Drift by blowing the engine, and this round is all about trying to keep it together. This is it, we won it twice, competition is really stiff this year, but we're definitely looking to try and back that. Friday, qualifying day. I was supposed to be driving right now, but then rain came down and it came down hard. And FD decided to postpone practice. We're sitting here, we're waiting, and we're waiting for the track to dry. It's rough. It was uh, very interesting actually, the weather was changing, it was raining and we were chasing some steering ground lanes. At the end of the practice I, I was actually leading but Frederick was following. Middle of the back end, I just lost the car and it was just no feeling at all. Rotate the car, hit the right side and the guy have to go all through the west side, change all the arms and such. And then I find out there's something weird with the steering rack.
What a crazy day. Still, we ended up qualifying in the top five. Almost took out my good friend Jonathan Castro, but uh, hey, we live to see another day and tomorrow is game day. Tuesday, Friday, all practice, all the setup. Now it's all combined. It's right here in the car to go right away to talk to you two battle against Top Bunky and Junior. About to head out for top 32 practice, and we have a bye run, meaning we're straight into top 16. It's gonna be a long night. Let's do this. Our lead run was good. I saw him literally launch next to him and uh, throw the car like super close. That it is not supposed to be a, a slow down area. I touch him and uh, give him a fall to me, so they give it away to Bond. Uh, good job, Bond. I'd rather lose like this, fighting, go for it, go 100%, than just like half and half. Now we are in a different position. So looking forward for the next round, B2. so hard all the way through top 16 and in top 8 we faced local hero Mark Landreville. It was way faster than I anticipated but luckily we got to walk away with the win and took us right into top 4. Now for top 4 I battled a longtime friend of mine, James Dean, chasing super close, almost touched him through the first turn, whipped around his back, back onto him through turn 2 and almost crashed into him again across the finish line. We ended up taking the win, moving into the finals against Kristaps Lush. I felt him nudge me not once, not twice, but four times all the way through the first turn. I started bracing myself. Sure enough, boom, pushed me right off the track. We ended up taking the win, however, our 10th win as a team, and I could be happier. With this 10th Formula Drift win, I'm now the most winningest driver in all of Formula Drift history, and Looking back 10 years, I never could have dreamt of this. This is a big testament to not only the team, not only our sponsors, but to one of the best tires in the business. Thank you, Nexon, for believing in me, and I can't wait for the rest. A nice sunny day here at Evergreen Speedway for round six of Formula Drift. As you can see behind me, that's the driver's briefing area where all the drivers gather around. With the voice of FD. Dude, do that hair. I don't even know you anymore. <laughs> the idea would be to stay with the proximity on the court. Uh, I just got 
the score. It was an 85. Where's the Nexon driver gonna be sitting? I have no idea. Are you doing a YouTube channel now? Some sights of FD. <laughs> well, guys, well, we finished 14 day qualifying. Pro 2 is starting now. Bye now. Let's have some team dinners. Oh, oh hey. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Already Watching Pro 2. Can you put food speed with dinner time? Yeah. Can yeah. have a steak sauce as well? Yeah. Can you say hi yet? Mm. I've been busy. Oh. We're here. Game day. It's Saturday. And we're setting up. This is the inside of our trailer. A lot of Boost Brigade gear, and a KW shocks, and then there's my car, my office. Yep. Yep. Looking good so far. Well, anyway, that's the morning. against Cameron Moore, hit the wall, straightened up, lost some points there, and then fucked up on my chase. Now I'm just gonna kick it with the team, hang out with some fans here. You want a beer? <laughs> I'm over <laughs> here right now. being on Team Next Tires, we've never had a better season, we've never learned so much from a season, we've never had so much fun from a season before. This is my first competition on Nexen tires. A tire is pretty much the most key suspension piece for any driver. If you can't rely on the tire or depend on what the tire is going to do, you don't know what the car is going to do. Simple as that. You have a new chassis. It's a completely unproven chassis in FD. We know the tire is good. So now we can tweak on other suspension parts and power and other areas of the car. Part of the Nexon family has been a huge thing for us. Meeting guys, Fred Gosbo, King Gushi, and those guys has been a huge insight with just questions that we have that need answered. Is 
isn't my first season with Next End, but this is my first Pro One season on the Next End team. This season's been a good season so far. We've made progress each round, dialing in the car and bringing the car to my driving style. We're looking forward to making more progress next season and doing even better. This year's been a great year for learning experience. Next year, we're hoping to get top 16s and then maybe a podium here and there. So this year has been an incredible growing experience, both as a driver and as a member of this team. And it's an amazing feeling. Just be able to rely on friends to give us advice, and either with development of the tire or just driving in general. And I appreciate the family that's taken behind me. Yeah, you know, it's been a crazy road coming here for all these years and an amazing send off, I think, for all the fans from Southern California and around the world, frankly, to come out here and see us do it one more time. Here we are at what's possibly the very last event at the legendary House of Drift. Irwindale Speedway is where it all started in the United States. It's the track that I dreamt of competing at. And it's a track where we wrapped up our 2015 championship year. We're sitting second in points right now. There are championship points on the table. We're definitely looking to finish off the season strong with another win. This year was one of those years where we saw a lot of new faces uh, within the Nexon team and it was very fun watching these new drivers of Formula Drift grow into really who they are and really show their skill set and uh, start to shine. So uh, as a veteran of Formula Drift, I mean I've been doing this for 14, 15 years now, um, it's always great to see new faces, new builds, crazy cars come into uh, the series. Looking back, it's been a great season. We welcomed a lot of young guys to the Nexon team and it's been really cool seeing them grow into championship contenders of their own. Being in Southern California, this is also the hometown event for the Nexon entire family. They're all out here watching and we arguably have some of the fastest cars running on the Enfera SUR 4G tires here. Points are into balance. It's shaping up to be an incredible season ender here at Urbandale Speedway.